Receiver running back. Here's the commissioner the now with the next Falcon pick. Selection. Please welcome from LSU a seventh round pick in the 1999 draft by the Falcons, center Todd McClure. With the 42nd pick of the 2015 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Jalen Collins, the defensive back, LSU. Go Tigers. All right, so Jalen Collins, cornerback at LSU, goes for Dan Quinn in that Atlanta defense. Also, they got Vic Beasley in the first round, so Dan Quinn playing to his strengths. Collins is an interesting character, lots of potential, but only 10 starts in LSU while he played there, Mel. Played in 39 games, but as you say, Dre, just 10 starts. 17 career pass break, breakups, only three career interceptions. Off the field concerns were during his sophomore year. He had the minor toe surgery in early March. Unlimited football activity starting May 1st. You look at him, inconsistency reigns supreme with Jalen Collins. You know, he's 6'1 and a half, he's 203 pounds, he's got length, he's got recovery speed, he's a heck of an athlete, but something was missing. You prevented him from being a full-time guy and prevented him from being consistent week to week. There are weeks you said, hey, he looks like a top 15 pick in the first round. Other times you wondered if he could be a third or fourth round pick. He's got to be more reliable. He's got to steady out his performances to be a good pro. I didn't love his tape. I thought he was highly inconsistent, Mel. I question the instincts. I think he has a lot of work to do in terms of his technique and consistency in which he plays the game. But where's Dan Quinn from? You look at the, the, Seattle. the Seattle tree and what they've excelled with, the big, long, physical corners. That's exactly what Jalen Collins is. When you look at his size, 6'1 half, 199 pounds, 32 and 3 eighths inch arms. This is a good fit for what the Falcons want to do. It makes sense. I will never question a Pete Carroll disciple in the secondary again when they draft guys. They know what they're looking for. They know how to coach them. I and I never liked the way they look. Listen, <laughs> I'll tell you what, the Atlanta Falcons almost averaged eight yards giving up per pass play last year. Historically high, they have to find answers in yep. the secondary. Well, listen, the Falcons all have the highest total QBR to opposing quarterbacks yes. over the last two seasons. So they got their sack artist in the first round. Hopefully their cover corner in this next round.